Okay, we're calm. We're calm. <laughs> you're, we're not calm. you're not calm. We're not <laughs> calm. <laughs> calm down. <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Scrapman back with another episode of Scrap Mechanic, and today we are on the fourth episode of the Stupid Vehicles series. The series where I show off some creations I've made that are kind of concept builds that get you around, but not quite in the most efficient way. Sometimes they're really interesting, and sometimes they're really silly or funny. And I've got three more vehicles for you today, but it's not just me uh, showing off these vehicles today. I brought in the help of my buddy Khan. Hello. <laughs> that actually looked pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, Khan's here, and the reason why I invited Khan here is because I thought it might be interesting to have somebody else try out the vehicles that doesn't really know what they do yet. And a little fun fact about the stupid vehicles is the first creation I made that inspired the entire stupid vehicles series in the first place, I actually haven't showed you guys because I was saving it for when the lag got a little bit better, but Unfortunately, it doesn't look like the lag's improving anytime soon, but this is an inchworm that I built. And it just so happens that Khan independently also built an inchworm um, without even, we never even discussed think, it with each yeah, other. I think yeah, this was before we even knew each other. Yeah, this is before we even knew each other. Khan had built an inchworm that I had no idea about. I'm gonna point out, mine's a lot worse. <laughs> <laughs> Your, yours is very blocky. <laughs> yeah, it, it doesn't work very well. Is this a tongue or is, is that supposed to be teeth in the front, the little red thing? I think it's supposed to be... Maybe? I don't know. It's supposed to be what? Te a tongue? <laughs> but see, see, mine works. Yours is all wheels, right? Mine uses this kind of stupid, like, sequenced wheels. So it's like wheels up and then move and then wheels down. But it it, it, it doesn't really... It's not. It's just a lag machine. We're just gonna get rid of this. <laughs> okay. Hey, it looks pretty cool, though. I, I, like the, I like the way it works. It's similar to mine, I think. Okay, I'll, I'll explain yeah. how it works. Why don't you go ahead and hop in the driver's seat and uh, give it a go. Oh, that way okay, I can watch okay. it from a distance here. Okay. Alright, so... The same same as mine, single switch. Yep, just press the button, and this is my oh, inchworm. <laughs> <laughs> so fast. So you can also turn with it, too. Um, oh, it's got actual steering. Yep. Oh my god. That's awesome. Yeah, it looks a lot better than mine, too. It's uh, a little less blocky. Yeah, so if you uh, if you were paying attention on my channel a few months ago, I actually showed a shot of this very briefly in one of my creation montages. You can check out a link to that in the description. But uh, yeah, so this was actually kind of interesting to build. If you look underneath here, you can see there's all these like interlocking uh, panels that are kind of sliding in between each other, which probably doesn't help with the lag at all. But I was trying oh, that's to. So cool, though. Yeah, I was trying to figure out how to get like a pretty solid body without any gaps in it, and still have it bend without interfering with itself. So that was kind of the system I came up with, and it was very tedious to try to build it and connect everything up. Yeah. yeah. So it's also got a face here with some uh, some little pincers and eyes and whatever. But the way I I made this tried to make this work, well, it was actually a little bit. Oh god. <laughs> oh yep. Oh. Watch out. It was a little bit more difficult than I anticipated to actually get the engines to do what they were doing. Um, I used, I think this is before logic gates, so they didn't, I didn't actually use any logic or anything like that. But here, let's, uh, I'm gonna put this on a lift so we can tear this apart a little bit. So I'll just get rid of the driver's seat. We're gonna open up the head here, and I'm gonna open up the tail as well. So there's a sensor in the head and the tail, and each sensor is hooked up to an electric engine that's also hooked up to the wheels. So what happens, uh, where's the switch? Yeah, so when we turn the switch on, oh boy. We're on a lift. Yeah, so it, all it does is it rotates this, um, this shape here, and that covers the sensor for a certain amount of time. And opposite of that on the back, if I get in the seat back here, it has this one rotating as well, and so this one is uncovered while the front sensor is covered, and vice versa. So it pretty much powers each section independently of each oh other. Oh my god, you did you did manual timings using a rotating disc. Yeah, that's pretty much pretty much how it works. Um, it, it was the only way I could think of. I don't know how you did yours. What did you do um, for yours? I just I used a controller and like I used different steps of the controller and then I tuned the speed of it. But I did the same thing. I had a sensor and the controller would fling a bar in front of the sensor, but uh, I just used the controller to control the, the timing, timing intervals. 
and then I put it on a loop, right? So as soon as you, there's there's two, and then, but basically the same idea. That's cool though. I've never seen somebody do that. <laughs> yeah. So maybe it wasn't the most efficient thing, but that's what makes it a stupid vehicle, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, so yeah. So fun fact, uh, that was the the original build that inspired my stupid vehicles series. Because as I was driving it around, I'm like, I can walk faster than this thing, and this thing's really laggy, and it's just not the quickest way to get around, but it's really cool looking. So that was my reason for uh, starting an entire series of things that have interesting ways of getting around but are still really cool and fun to use. Alright, so um, I built two more for this episode that are brand new, just built them today, and this one is called the Spinster. What? What? Yep, so this is inspired actually by some helicopter creations I've seen by other other creators, but this is not a helicopter creation, so Okay, let me I'm trying to I'm trying to guess how it's gonna work before I get it. <laughs> I wanna I'm just looking at all the parts. So it, the top's gonna spin, that's for sure. You got thrusters up there. Uh huh. These side thrusters are on a bearing with control. What are you doing? Why? <laughs> I don't even know what you're doing with these. Okay. All right. Yep. So I'm, okay, gonna, I'm not even gonna tell Con how it works. I just figured it'd be fun okay. to see. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. So. Oh God. Okay. So. So W. Why would W control that? I don't know. Why not? Oh my God! I know how this works. This is the dumbest idea you've come up with. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. Oh my God! I can't believe you did this. <laughs> Oh, this is so stupid. It is it's, really, I'm... really pointless the way that it's designed. <laughs> this is awesome. This is so amazing. This is brilliant. Yeah, so if you can't tell what's going on, um, basically there's a little tab in the back of the vehicle. Oh god, oh why well, <laughs> that I comes have, oh, down. I have to turn it off. Yeah, yeah you can okay. see, yeah. So number one will will uh, basically turn it on and off by Putting that little tab down, and each one of these thrusters has a sensor on it. So as the top spins around, which you're stuck against the thing right now, but as the top part spins around, the sensor will uh, pass the tab, which will cause that set of thrusters to push it forward just a little bit. Here, I'll hop in the seat so uh, we can. You forgot you forgot to spin Whoop. do the stem. The what? You forgot to paint your stem. My stem? Oh, yep. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you go ahead and paint that for me? All right. Yeah, so uh, pressing W will make it spin, and when I press 1 here, you see that tab come down in the back, and now every single time the thrusters pass that tab, you can see it'll push it forward just a little bit. Now the problem- I'm sorry, but that's the dumbest thing <laughs> yeah. I've ever seen. Just adding power to the wheels would be so much more efficient, but- <laughs> <laughs> It's just- a, it's just- it's so silly. <laughs> but here's actually the really weird thing, is I was trying to think about turning. So, I wish I could go faster than this, but I have the controller set at max, but if you notice, the wheels actually turn, all the wheels turn with the body of it as well. So, this pretty much locks in, um, which way you're gonna be facing as far as your, uh, your direction goes. So, the wheels will be locked into this position, facing whatever way you're facing. So then if you turn your body, your body will turn and the wheels will also turn you as well. So, it's kind of like a... An unusual but turning mechanism it, for the wheels. Does it only turn in like certain intervals then, like 45 degrees? Or yeah, something? I have it set to 30 degree turning um, okay. to allow a little bit more control, but anything less than 30 degrees would be so much slower. So it's so definitely it's just, usable. It's, it's, so it's every time you hit one of the buttons, it'll turn 30 degrees, and that's that's pretty much it. Yeah, uh, I have it set up to um, to the tur the A and D turning. So here, I'll actually spawn yeah, yeah, one for I myself. And we can I both kind of go around here. It reminds me almost like a desk chair, the way you have the <laughs> wheels set up. Like yeah, they're... yeah, I guess so. I actually, I, I originally tried it having them on free bearings, hoping that the momentum would just kind of lock them into whatever direction they were going, but it didn't work out too well. <laughs> Look at he's getting airborne. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> but these actually, For they aren't too laggy. No, they really aren't. For a second there, I thought there was no reverse, and I'm like, oh yeah, you just... Yeah, you just turn it, like it all the way around. <laughs> Oops, stuck here. Oh, 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 so, so I would never think of this in a million years. If you you put me in a room for a thousand years and said, make whatever you, what'd you call this? The, the spinster. The spinster. Like, I would not, this is not what I would come up with. Oh, there's a jump over here. I want to see if I can take this thing off the jump. Oh, God. Oh, no, it's taking off without me. It's taking off without me. All right, I got it. Doesn't even matter which way we're facing, because I just turn... I can make it face pretty much whatever direction I want to. So let's go ahead and lock it in. Oop, right around here. 
All right, and let's try to get off this jump. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, it's not gonna make it. Nope. <laughs> All right, what if I go off the jump from the other direction? This is it, this is like a very poorly placed jump. There's not any runway on either side that gives you enough speed. Oh, there it goes. Oh, there it goes. Oh God. <laughs> I'm not on it. I'm not. I'm not on it. That switch is live. <laughs> okay, we're good. We're good. We're just yeah, good. Slow and steady wins the race. We gotta turn this one switch off. Too bad you can't speed that up. Yeah. You don't really have. The turning on this looks thing. so weird. It's almost like an illusion the way it turns. <laughs> That's yeah, that's the that's the unfortunate thing with the controllers. Oh, you got a good lineup. Oh, nope, nope, nope. You're not making it. You know what? There's the pit of it failure. Was, it was, yeah. <laughs> you know what this almost reminds me of? Yeah, I made oh, yeah, this I've a seen while this. ago. This is exactly the same kind of stupid. Like, I mean, <laughs> this is another stupid, really dumb mode of transportation. But like, it, it kind of reminds me of that same kind of feel when you have like you know moving thrusters, right? Yeah, it's like it's pretty pointless. But actually, that it's not completely pointless. Uh, do you have the same kind of thing with the the sensors when they hit the ground? They do the yeah, thruster. Yeah, when they hit the ground, they fire the thruster. Oh, so that's cool. what makes it hover. Oh, so it'll hover on its own, but it won't actually hover unless it has those side ones, right? Yeah, that's kind of cool. This was really, this was a dumb idea to be perfectly honest. Yeah, I think but... that fits into the stupid vehicle genre. Yeah, well, this is the spinster, so um, that'll be on the workshop scrap, as well. Scrapman spinster. All right, so I got one final creation for you, and this one I'm actually pretty proud of. Uh, we'll go ahead and spawn that over on the launch pad over here. Okay, so this one, I'm actually really curious if you're gonna be able to figure it, or how quick it's gonna take you to figure it out. Um, oh, I didn't figure out the spinster until I got in it, <laughs> There we so. go. Alright, I'll spawn one for me too. Wait, don't get in it yet, don't get in it yet. There we go. Alright, now we got two of them. Alright, first, go ahead and hop in, Con, and see if you can, uh... Well, I'm looking at the connections real quick before I- I wanna- I wanna- So it's got- okay, so it'll plant itself to the ground. It's got steering hooked up to bearings. Uh -huh. What? How do- you- are you driving this with steering? Maybe. Yo. Okay, and then you've got sen- I don't even know what you're doing anymore. <laughs> you've got sensors and like, weird steering stuff. Okay, so how does this work? So one... You have a button for a horn? Really? Um... The button- the, the buttons are completely optional. Really? Yep, you don't need the buttons. Oh, what the? Oh, uh, <laughs> well you need- you turned one of the buttons off. That, that's the kill switch, so it's not gonna work. Oh, yeah, there you go, the there you switch. go. Yeah, put that button, yeah. Alright, now it should work. Two, two is the kill switch. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is so dumb. <laughs> Wait, can you, can you stop anywhere? Oh, this is amazing. So you have to like, so you could just, you could just be like, I could spin all day. Oh no, you can't. You no, no, yeah, you anything. only have 180 degree. Uh, okay, so you're not, so you're motion. not at full spinning, but you no. can at least, that's, that's amazing. But you could. <laughs> You figured it wait, out pretty wait. well, though, yeah. How do you go backwards, though? Uh, you can't go backwards. You gotta kind of just turn farther if you want to turn around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, you know what we should do? We need to have a foot race. A foot race? <laughs> All right, a that sounds race. good. All right, we, we need to make some posts. Uh, before, before we get to the race, let's actually take a look at how this thing works. Um, so I call this the, <laughs> the, the AD walker. Or the oh jeez oh god oh, I don't oh, know oh, oh. oh I'm so sorry <laughs> you see that flip that was awesome so I call this the AD Walker because literally the only controls are A and D yeah it's awesome so what does what does one do oh my god <laughs> <laughs> yep so one <laughs> is the optional uh, sound effects. <laughs> Now you need to add like three, four, and five to put drum beats and stuff as well. <laughs> Hold on, can you can you like pitter patter? <laughs> <laughs> well, these damn kids get out of my way! <laughs> yeah. So if you want to turn around, you can actually just use if you use one of the turning. And then you just let it sit for a second as it rewinds, and then use the same foot again. You can just kind of spin on one foot. And readjust yourself to whatever angle, angle you want. Oh, yeah. I mean, it kind of bounces a little bit when you first activate the foot, because all the weight gets transferred. Yeah. 
Yeah, it, it, it yeah, works it better works. once you're actually going, because then the, the angles match up with each other a lot better. Yeah, so as you can see, whoa, geez. As he turns towards one leg, it is going to angle the leg in, and he turns to the other leg and it angles that one in, and then I have uh, some sensors that are also put onto uh, a steering thing so that it'll that'll trigger the controllers that turn the legs as well as the thrusters that keep them pinned to the ground. So it's just every single thing is triggered by some type of steering bearing. And that's... Okay, so I'm not going to lie. When you messaged everyone on Twitter today and you were like, yo, I'm building a walker. <laughs> this is not... <laughs> In any way, shape, <laughs> or form, what I exactly like, I was picturing like you know, like Star Wars chicken walker type walker, not no. frog pad. <laughs> yeah, it kind of does look like a lily pad walker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, amazing. But I love the way this thing looks. It's so funny. This walker, uh, if you couldn't tell, was actually the the control scheme was somewhat inspired by the Slinky from last week's Stupid Vehicles episode, and this is actually probably one of my favorite creations ever. Have you even tried this out, Con? I don't know if you actually got a chance to. Um, I think very briefly at one point, but okay. So you go. Okay, so you switch. Yeah, th this one's not quite as simple. Well. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, yeah, so no, it, <laughs> not quite as simple as the Walker. I mean, I guess this is technically a walker too. Uh, yeah, it's all about timing, though. Oh, because you gotta. I, uh, yeah, you gotta. No, kind. You. Okay, if you just one press. One is blue. Yeah, there you go. Two is green. Nope. No, no. One. One is the same switch. Like it just. You keep oh, pressing oh, one. I, it's an, oh, I see. Yeah, there well, you go. Well, this is this is my first. Oh, oh God. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was aggressive. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, go, go. Turn off. Turn off. Okay. Oh, that's what. Oh, two turn. Okay. Okay. We're calm. We're calm. <laughs> You're not collected. calm. You're not calm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Where are you going? I, I, I think I almost see. There you go. I okay, can see good. you just. I can see you just peeking up over the hill. You got it. I think it looks like we're you got good. it now. Yeah, we're good. Oh, I love this oh. creation. Whoa, that was. What oh. are you doing? That was fancy movement right there. I got them tricks all day. Yeah, it I is think possible. I'm a little early on the timing. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you gotta wait pretty much as soon as it hits the ground, then you can do it. Oh, are you gonna go up the tree? Oh no, what's going gonna- Going up the tree. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, so this is the All creation right. that inspired the walker. Alright, All right, we need a- we need a sprint here. Yeah, we need this to have some like, type of race. I, I don't even good. know if there's a technique with this thing or not. Oh, there's like a nice flat area over here. You stay there, I'm gonna go get the other one. But yeah, I, I don't- I don't know if there's a, te a better or worse technique for speed with these things, but I, I guess we're gonna find out. I'm gonna customize mine a little bit. I I like your paint job, but to be honest, I just think. Uh, Would you be a painting here, Con? Uh, I'm going with the purple and pink. I think it's really gonna bring out my eyes. <laughs> okay. You know we're gonna we're gonna go purple and pink on that one, and on this one we're gonna go. Uh, what about a nice like? How about a nice yellow and blue? Oh, uh, yeah, you know? Mis mismatching colors. That's always a good, a it's good good a fashion good, statement. It's how all the Olympic racers win their big races. All right, I think that's good. There we go. <laughs> it's like a yeah, it shuffle. Yeah, it reminds me like a little dancing little... like shuffle thing. I'm I'm gonna start on my right foot, so I'm not gonna get immediately go towards you. So yeah, I'm gonna start on the left. <laughs> all right. Uh, so I guess first one to to get all the way through, or just a part of your vehicle through the finish line. I don't know. It's your call. All right. How, how about the fir the first one to get a foot through the finish line is the winner. Okay. All right, good. you ready for this? Sure. All right, in three, two, one, go. Ooh. All right, here we go. Oh, <laughs> right off so, the hole. You're off to a good start, okay. I it, overturned yeah. the first turn there, and that caused me some serious problems. Okay, we gotta, we gotta pick up the pace here, Khan. Let's now, go. To be fair, I have fooled around with this quite a bit more than Khan has. So <laughs> it might, and I'm hosting, so I might have a bit of an advantage, but you it's know, actually this lads, is going pretty well. It's actually not that bad, surprisingly, for this. I guess because it doesn't move very quick, so it's not. Oh god, <laughs> I'm just I'm just terrible at like I, my timing's all off. I'm like slamming my feet down and come on, get him. It looks. I love get the up. way this thing looks though. I'm so proud of it. Oh, oh get him, oh. get him, yo! <laughs> There's no real uh, way to. Oh, there we go. Trap man, the win. Woo! There's no god, real way man. to just like boost yourself any faster. You kind of reach a max speed pretty quick. <laughs> These things actually, like, they look like they mean business. 
I know, it's like, yo, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I don't want you in my establishment. <laughs> don't mind the pink foot. I got a pedicure today. Good stuff. If you just stand there still for a moment, I'll be there in 20 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> oh crap, he walked behind me. Now I'm gonna have to do a full 360. <laughs> Hold on, let me just put my foot down. <laughs> I'm gonna have to put my foot down on this one. Uh -oh. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, sir. I'm putting my foot down. All I know is, every time I step, these weird noises seem to happen. <laughs> what I is this? Stupid, you stupid vehicles. I, is this, I a ro is this a, one of those railroad things? Yeah, and it actually uses like a crank and piston mechanism. Get in the seat in front of it, and then use two and three to control the thrusters. Good luck. Uh, yeah, you gotta time it. Oh, so you, this is I cool. made this a long time ago. Like, long, long time yeah, ago. Yeah, look at the thing in the back. You. It's just like another timing thing. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, speaking of stupid vehicles, <laughs> I just, I forgot I had that. I was like, oh yeah. Did I you ever show this on your channel? I did a long, long time ago. Like I made a, a video where I showed a hot air balloon, uh, this thing, and I showed uh, a rowboat actually, which was another stupid vehicle. I like and this. This is so I'm... cool. That's cool. Yeah, I think this qualifies. This would definitely qualify as a somewhat stupid vehicle, but it works very intelligently for sure. It's really hard to steer and keep your timing <laughs> at the same time. This was the only other stupid vehicle I had. Oh yeah, I actually, I was, I was almost gonna build something that was pretty much that same idea, and I kept thinking like, oh yeah, Khan did that too. Yeah, I, I've, I've, I've spawned this a few times obviously when we're just screwing around with stuff, but. Yeah, this is a good stupid vehicle. I like it very much. The best much. thing about the robot though is it was really slow, so you know. <laughs> 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 It needed some extra boost. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you're not using you're not using your uh, your oars anymore. Keep your... Well, yeah, they just they just cause drag at that point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like I definitely like uh, th this was this was a very inspiring stupid vehicle. I saw this on your channel a long time ago. Yeah, if you guys haven't seen yeah. Khan's channel yet, which I don't know why you wouldn't have if you if you watch my videos at all, uh, go check out his channel. Where you can see more cool builds like these, and he's working on an entire hover city thing, like literally an entire city that hovers. So, uh, go check that out as well. <laughs> I'm gonna leave a link in the description. But, uh, yeah, let me know which you, one sir. of these vehicles was your favorite, um, your, your favorite stupid vehicle. What about you, Khan? Which one was your favorite? I, I, I still can't get over it. As much as I like the, I don't know what you call the legs. The legs are, um, the AD steer or whatever. Yeah. I, I still can't get over the, the, uh, the spinning thing. The, um, so the spinster uh, here? The spinster, yeah, I, I can't get over that. That's just amazing. That's, just, that's like the the dumbest thing. I couldn't figure it out. I like the other one. I kind of figured out the leg thing. I kind of got okay. You got two feet. You know, it's obviously it's gonna do something cool. And you had, you had talked about a walker, but the, the spinster is. I couldn't have figured that out to save my life. <laughs> how that would have worked until I actually drove it. Mm -hmm. Well, my personal favorite is definitely the the AD Walker here, um, and yeah, we started off with the Inchworm, and then Khan showed off some of his uh, his things that kind of fit into the stupid vehicle theme. So leave a comment down below, let me know which one you liked the best, and um, let me know if you have any ideas for future stupid vehicle concepts, because most of them are built upon a concept. Like the Walker was was kind of like a walking thing. Obviously, this one had the thruster sensor kind of concept. Um, you know, Khan's rowboat had the rowing concept, so that's kind of what inspires the vehicles, is just thinking of an interesting concept and seeing what comes out of that. So, uh, I guess uh, we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye!